Hello, hello, lads and girls. This is Lord Kicker, and welcome back to another episode of Genshin Impact. And uh, see, we should probably do one of the hangouts today. Need to get that key first, though. So, should we do the Xiong Yun? I am a little intrigued by him. Because I don't think I've seen much of him. I've seen a little bit of Bennett, but not a whole lot there either. But. Yeah. Let's do this. Begin hangout. Signs of Evil. Okay, so. Ah, this is taking place in Alive. Finally, something a bit different. Not Mondstadt, for once. Oh, yeah. Uh, there was also another thing that I wanted to do. Uh, I wanted to go to a statue of the seven here and see if I can level it up. Seeing as I have a lot of those electroloculus. Let's worship the statue and offer all. Wow, one shot. For real? Oh, and the worst part is I can see one up there. See, is it high enough? Might make it, might make it. Oh, yeah. Okay, I need to return to that now, because that is the last one I needed to upgrade it, though. That was actually pretty funny. For once, I actually managed to do it. I mean, it was so near, though. I mean, I barely made it. There we go. Well, that's a good start. Okay. Now then, let's litter, litter, <laughs> return to Liyue Harbor. Hey, right, little boy. Ah, there he is. Hi, dude. Excuse me. Have you perchance seen any evil spirits? Evil spirits? Oh, my apologies. You're not from around here, are you? This question must sound a little confusing to you. I'm Chong Yun, a local exorcist from Liu. 
Those versed in the arts of exorcism refer to all forms of demons and monsters as evil spirits. Evil spirits have existed since ancient times. They lurk among the shadows in the lands of Liyue, stirring up all sorts of trouble and mischief. It is my duty to exorcise or destroy them, and protect the citizens here from their evil doings. Okay, let's see. That is an admirable job. That sounds similar to the work of adventurers. I get it. That's what the vigilant Yaksha fights against, right? How did you come to know of the vigilant Yaksha? I have great respect for the Yakshas. For generations, Yakshas and exorcists have been protecting Liyue together. One in plain sight, and the other in secret. Sorry, I digress. Judging from your response, it seems you aren't well versed in the realm of evil spirits. But that's understandable. If I may ask, have you happened to come across anything strange recently? Sometimes even the most trivial matters prove helpful in my hunt for evil spirits. Hmm, nothing in particular. Oh, I see. Well... Fair enough. In that case, I guess I'll just have to try my luck with the clues I already have. What clues do you have now? <sighs> Only some scattered reports, really. Nothing too significant yet. But if you're interested, I can tell you about some of the more useful ones I've gathered so far. I read a flyer that said, The test of courage is now being held on Wu Wang Hill. Bring your best friend and test your courage together. Then, recently, the sounds of footsteps and shouting have been heard outside people's windows at night. The noises have frightened the children and they are unable to sleep. And a huge shadow has appeared in Guili Plains. It flies and swirls, summons down fireballs and makes all sorts of strange noises. Cases such as these might actually be worth our attention. Test of courage? Doesn't that sound like an advertisement? Sometimes stronger person out by people's windows at night. That sounds... That's nothing unusual. The shadow in Gillard Plains sounds like it may be a rune hunter. Uh, yeah, it kind of sounds like advertisement. I think something strange must have happened at the test of courage. I guess this so-called test is supposed to be like a test of metal. Its purpose must be to try the will and power of exorcists. <sighs> Do you think I'm not deciphering these clues correctly? They all sound pretty far-fetched. Perhaps I should just tell him that. Although they all seem far-fetched, I'd uh, better not tell him that. He seems like quite... A pristine character. Mm. Yeah, let's not tell him. I think the clue about the test of courage is the most relevant one I have so far. If strange things have been happening at the event, then evil spirits may well be the cause. <sighs> but there's an unusual requirement for this event. You must be a team of two people in order to participate. Actually, that's quite normal. The aim is to strengthen the relationship between the two participants. Huh? Strengthen the relationship? Oh, sorry. I, I don't really get it. Anyway, if you have the time, would you join me for this event? Yeah, sure. You seem to have a good eye for discerning these clues. With your adventuring experience, I'm sure we'll track down those evil spirits in no time. Okay, I'm free now anyway. Uh, thank you. I was starting to worry that I wouldn't be able to find a partner. We should make haste. If there are evil spirits at the event, then things could get dangerous. Okay, this sounds like fun. Oh, this is quite far though. Alright, let's teleport over there.
I mean, might as well grab that while we're here, right? There's another one right here somewhere. Hmm. Ah, right there. I almost didn't see it because of those uh, yellow flowers. Let's see, will I need to beat up these helicrolls? Looks like I got a chest out of this too. We'll need more where that came from. Okay, let's go and talk to this fella. Please be careful, everyone. Pay close attention to your surroundings and stay vigilant once you enter. And most importantly, don't get separated from your partner and wander off on your own. You'll most certainly be in for a scare if you go alone. Did you hear that? He's warning the event participants. Maybe something strange really did happen here. <laughs> Let's investigate. Uh, I think you misunderstood that. <laughs> Welcome to the test of courage. You two must be very close friends. Actually, we just met. <laughs> no problem at all. Don't be shy. Just enjoy yourselves. But please drink this before you enter the test of courage. This drink will boost the yang energy inside your body and lift your courage. Not only that, but this drink will also allow you to see things which are usually hidden from the naked eye. Pretty exciting, huh? Y yang energy? That's right. Ghosts are said to be full of yin energy, so more yang energy will surely deter them. <sighs> I've never heard of such a drink. Is it a secret recipe? Or maybe some kind of potion? Perhaps it all just... psychological... I think you might have misunderstood this whole test of courage thing. Hmm, possibly. But why bother exaggerating it so much then? But if this drink really does boost Yang energy, then it's potentially dangerous for me. Dangerous? <sighs> you see, I have a very rare constitution called a pure Yang spirit. Such a constitution allows me to scare away evil spirits, but it also makes me prone to emotional impulses. You seem like a very calm person to me. I am constantly focusing to keep my mind and body in a normal state. Which usually works until I suffer from some external stress. Come now, what's with that serious expression on your face, lad? You aren't worried about the drink, are you? It's delicious and quite effective if I do say so myself. There's nothing to worry about. Or if you're still unsure, perhaps only one of you could take the drink. The person who takes the drink can protect the one who doesn't. It'll be exciting either way. Hmm. It's hard to refuse when you put it that way. Let's both drink it. If you lose control, I'll be sure to take care of you. Let me drink it alone. Now let's go with that. Alright, here it is. Please drink it slowly. <laughs> yes, that's it. You did great. You two may enter now. I'm starting to feel something after that drink. 
No, no, I'll be fine. Let's go investigate the area. All right. <sighs> so this is the test of courage. Oh, there are more people here than I imagined. They could all be in grave danger if there really is an evil spirit here. We must get to the bottom of this. I'm not too sure where we should start, but I know we'll find something once we start looking. These innocent participants are completely oblivious to the potential danger here. We'll need to protect them. The test of courage isn't actually dangerous, you know. What? Please, enlighten me. The participants are just here to have fun. You're taking this event too seriously. You're just here to have fun. You mean, being scared is like entertainment to them? I see. Maybe you're right. I'm certainly a stranger to entertainment after all. I mostly spend my time purging evil spirits and practicing thaumaturgy. Besides training, I also need to constantly focus on my own emotions to avoid losing control. So I rarely have any time for leisure activities. I'm completely unfamiliar with what others would consider entertainment. Wow, your hair just turned blue and you got like orange skin now. Uh, I see. Well, either way, let's check the area for any evil spirits just in case. Where should we start? Well, there is some weird light over there. And there are some people here. We can talk to them, perhaps. This is all your fault. This place nearly scared me to death. All right, all right. Don't lose your temper. We're leaving now, okay? Hmm. To think I used to believe you were brave. But this is different. Excuse me, but I couldn't help but overhear your conversation. Did you perchance encounter an evil spirit? If so, I'm here to track it. Could you please tell me which direction it went? Uh, who are you? No, I didn't see anything, so don't ask. So please just leave me alone. I don't know what you're talking about, and I certainly don't want anything to do with an evil spirit. My apologies. Perhaps you misunderstood what I meant. I only wish to know what the spirit looks like. And which way it went so we could track it down. If you can't describe its appearance, then at least show us the way it went. Uh, show you the way? No, I'm not going anywhere. No, no, we're not taking you anywhere. I am just asking you to show us. Ugh, no, forget it. All right, that's enough. Listen, if you keep talking like that, she might actually end up believing in that nonsense. Can't you see she's terrified enough already? You could go find whatever strange things you're looking for on your own. Uh, my apologies. I didn't mean to frighten her. He's quite the serious exorcist. Yes. I'm just trying to hunt the evil spirit you mentioned to prevent it from hurting anyone. Isn't it a bit strange for an exorcist to come to the test of courage looking for evil spirits? Oh, I think I get it now. But we didn't say anything about a ghost or spirit. I think you misunderstood us. I brought my girlfriend here to have some fun, but instead she got frightened by all this spooky atmosphere. Now we'll just have to go home. <sighs> I'm not too sure what you're looking for, but we did see some dark shadows making strange noises. Thank you very much. That's very helpful. And we're sorry to well, give you the scare. It. it seems something unusual is going on here. But why would they ever want to come here if they get scared so easily? The point isn't getting scared, it's relying on each other in the face of fear. Interesting. I have never had any fear of evil spirits, so perhaps I'm unable to understand their feelings. It's amazing that you're able to pick up on that. Good thing I brought you as my partner. Anyway, let's keep searching the area. <laughs> uh... Now, there is some more people over here. But I think I'm going to continue on this in the next episode, though. I'm ending off this one here. I do hope you have enjoyed it, and I hope to see you all in the next one. Until then, bye-bye.